all roads have led to this the nba finals cedric lewis here for the second year in the row in a row in a row the second time in hornets franchise history they have been to the nba finals so happens to be in back to back seasons and as you can see we almost got the matchup we wanted the suns lost in six games as the eighth seed going on a run like the miami heat but losing in six in the conference finals to the minnesota timberwolves if you remember in this offseason we traded carl anthony towns away from this team they ended 34 and 48 we traded cat basically for a salary dump trade signed them jalen suggs and uh, dyson daniels was a part of that trade along with herb jones mikey williams was i believe drafted with the 10th pick i thought he was undrafted uh he was drafted with the 10th overall pick last year and he got his first minutes winning rookie of the year and leading this timberwolves team to the nba finals anthony edwards finally getting that number one role the team built around him dyson daniels not having a great playoff run but he had a fantastic regular season jada mcdaniels playing like himself and their starting center is andre drummond andre drummond as your starting center led them to the nba finals this team is amazing all around but so are the charlotte hornets led by lamella ball cedric lewis aaron gordon demontis bonus and eight and this starting five is just absurd the bench not as great but good enough and as you saw last video uh, we went through the end of the season and i mentioned how i wasn't gonna um, play every single game like i usually do there wasn't really a point uh we ended up going to seven games against the sixers so we went down 0 to 2 i played two of the games tied it up 2-2 then i sim casted um the last three games and we ended up winning in seven games winning by 15 in game seven and then this piston series i played the first game we blew them out I simulated the second game, we won, and then game three was the um, episode you just saw where it went to overtime in game three. We won by two points after trailing most of the game, led by Cedric Lewis, 41 point triple double, and in game four, we beat them by six points with another Cedric Lewis triple double, and that leads us to the NBA Finals. Here are the current playoff stats here, and my God, are they good. 33 points from Cedric Lewis, 19 from LaMelo, 19 from Zabonis, and 18 from Aiton with 12 from Gordon. That These stats are insane. Uh, even Mike Conley's given us 6 and 4 off the bench. Nick Rich has given us 8.5, and, and Isaiah Joe has given us 9. 5, all of our starters are in double digits during this playoff run absurd and i am actually leading us in rebounds surprisingly with eight and a sabonis on the team but this is absolutely insane the run we are going on and for the tim wills their run is led by anthony edwards 27 and mike e williams is 24 points jalen sucks 16 off the bench these two are award winners six man i mean uh, rookie of the year and six man of the year and now before we hop in it's time to adjust the sliders. If you don't know, I have custom sliders on. I set the default to Hall of Fame. That is where all my sliders are on. These are all the normal Hall of Fame sliders besides the three point success, which I upped. And the CPUs, as you can see, are more than 30 above. And I think it's time to change it. We're gonna put them all on 80 and probably get blown out. Um, I'm gonna keep the three pointer on 65 because if I up that anymore, they just hit every three no matter if it's contested or not so everything else we're going to keep the same i just upped inside close shot and mid range to 80. anyways let's hop to this game one of the nba finals against the minnesota timberwolves and one had the first win of the hornets or i mean the first win on a road to the hornets first ever championship or lose in disappointing fashion at home and what could be a downfall of cedric lewis's run with the hornets Game one of the NBA Finals is here. The 54 and 28 Timberwolves, the 61 and 21 Charlotte Hornets. One of these two franchises will be raising their first ever Larry O'Brien at the end of this series. No matter what, we will have a first time NBA champion. Will it be Cedric? 
Will it be Anthony Edwards? We'll find out as Lewis knocks down a three to start it off. Lob, lob. Why did you not lob it? Oh, I had a wide open path to the paint, LaMelo. I call for the lob. You got to send it. Post fade. Not, we're not post fade. Normal fade. And Lewis is 3 of 3 to start off the game. The Timberwolves are 1 of 4. Aiden misses both free throws there. That is not a good sign. Up by 8 though. Timberwolves have not been able to get anything going on the offensive end. It has just been a no show for them. Anthony Edwards looking to get some sort of spark going for them. They bring in Marvin Bagley probably for more of the um, offensive powerhouse over Andre Drummond and that is it. and he makes it all right Marvin Bagley all right I'm getting subbed out here another storyline probably no one cares about but maybe Grizzlies fans is that this is actually Mike Conley's last year in the league he's retiring and this is probably his best chance to win an NBA championship if you don't know he was on this team I believe year two or year three one of those uh he was actually no no it was definitely year two because um, he was on the team year two. He wasn't here year three. That's when we had Tyus Jones. And we brought him back this year because we didn't have a backup point guard. But uh, this is his best shot to win a championship. He was on that great run. Um, I, am I right? Or was he here year one, too? I don't remember. But he was on um, one of those runs that uh, we went on but never actually won a championship. We ended up trading him and then re-signing him this year in, the, in free agency. So we could have a backup point guard. And he's playing pretty damn good in the playoffs. As you saw, six points, four assists off the bench in not many minutes. Shooting very efficient. That is not going in. I'm surprised I didn't foul. He airballed. LaMelo, I was wide open down the court. But yeah, you didn't pass it. Aaron Gordon from downtown. It's good. The Hornets go back up by five. Oh, I got subbed out. We are up by 11. Uh, heading into halftime, we were up by 12. In this game, one of the NBA Finals, uh, Timberwolves have been keeping it close. But, I mean, they've never been really able to uh, get back into the game. Not, okay, I thought I was going to be forced to watch the Jabberwockies uh, do their stupid dance. But, yeah, they're keeping it close, but uh, they just can't really pull into the game. Oh, fast break. Uh, Aaron Gordon with the dunk. Yeah, we are just dominating them right now. Aaron Gordon has 13 points. Uh, I believe Lamelo has 11. Aiton has 15 and I am sitting with 17 and 17 right now in this game. Anthony Edwards is not doing well as I commit a foul. I'm going for a lob. You better throw it. You better throw it. Cedric throwing down the lob, extending the lead to 16 points in game one of the NBA Finals, giving the Charlotte fans a show, hopefully redeeming last year's sad, sad loss to the San Antonio Spurs as Edwards is going to launch a three and drill it. Fast break, throw the lob, LaMelo up to Cedric, again, 24 points for Lewis, 18 point lead for the Charlotte Hornets. 15 seconds left in this third quarter, 18 point lead for the Charlotte Hornets. The Timberwolves are still in it, but the way they are playing, it's not looking promising here in game one. Mikey Williams is going to launch a three, it's off, two seconds left, we're just going to hold it. We're going to head into the fourth quarter of game one of the NBA Finals with a 68-86 to 86 lead. And Cedric is going to get benched to start off this fourth quarter. Let's see what the lead looks like. And I got benched for 24 seconds. All right, 18 seconds left in this game. Uh, they're going to go for a shot. Of course they are. Good. And he dunks on Nick Richards' figures. All right, give me the ball. They want to play that game. I can play that game too. 10 seconds left. In this game one, we are going to take out the Timberwolves here. I am going to throw up the lob. Nick Richards, get your revenge. Dang gun. Th Why are they calling a timeout? Oh, I broke the NBA record for assist in a game. I was actually about to get mad heated that they called a timeout for no reason, but they, that's why they called a timeout because I broke a record. And you sub me out after I break the record. That's insanity. They hit a 3 2. We're going to win 100 to 1. 20 here in game one of the NBA Finals. Final box score. Cedric Lewis ends the game with 39 points, 4 rebounds, 25 assists, 2 steals, and 2 blocks, shooting 13 of 21 from the field, 8 of 14 from 3. Aiton ends up with 19 and 12 with 2 blocks. LaMelo 15 and 12, shot very efficient. Aaron Gordon had 13. Mike Conley off the bench with 10 in his first ever NBA Finals game. And Sabonis with 9 and 9. When did he join the team? 
Uh, we traded him last year when we made the finals. All right. So he was on the team last year. We traded him, and then we signed him back. All right. Gotcha, gotcha. So he wasn't a part of that finals team. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Simonis had 9-9. and He did not have a good game. Nick Richards, 8. And Isaiah Joe, 7 off the bench. For the Timberwolves, Anthony Edwards, 23 points. Shot terrible, like usual, when I'm guarding your best player. Uh, Mikey Williams, 14 points. Lamella Ball locked him the hell down. 6-15, 2 of 8. Andre Drummond, 12 and 11. He had an okay game, but he ain't going to win you any game. And uh, Marvin Bagley off the bench, 12 points, 3 of 4 shooting. He was actually very, very efficient. It felt like he was hitting a lot more shots than 3 of 4, but I guess not. Jaden McDaniels had 11. Herb Jones had 11. And Jalen Suggs had 11. Uh, Dyson Daniels was a no-show. Denny Advita was a no-show as well. That's going to be it for me here in Game 1 of these NBA Finals. GG.